Hello and good morning Reds. This morning we woke up with the news that PSG are really really serious with uh, their interest in Luis Diaz who has been uh, he has been showing his uh, true talent in the last few days especially in the last five or six games and if he can play and deliver like the way he played the last 20 minutes of Manchester City game and not only PSG are interested but also Barcelona are interested. The news that is coming out of uh, Liverpool is that yeah, Basel, uh, Liverpool are not interested in selling him, but if the real right deal comes out and the right offer comes out, they are willing to accept. And another thing that many journalists are talking about and uh, debating about is that is this uh, sell or this transfer rumor of Luis Diaz uh, fueled by the agent, his agent saying that if Barcelona wants him, say they should put around 100 to 120 uh, in the transfer market, which is really, really um, an ex good price for him. But, you know, knowing that Michael Edwards, he might make something of that sort happen. Another thing that this morning we saw is that my, if Liverpool loses, uh, Luis Diaz, they might be looking forward to uh, signing Rodrigo from Bas and, uh, Real Madrid, which have been, you know, and is that have been currently happening in the last two years that whatever any transfer is coming, and uh, they are Liverpool are linked with a Real Madrid player, whether it's Rodrigo, whether it's Valverde, you know, whether it's Chimeni, whether it's Camavinga. And another news that we're hearing is that, you know, uh, Rodrigo might be incoming if Luis Diaz leaves because Le Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid gonna have, sorry, Real Madrid are gonna have um, Vinicius and Pape and he might be uh, become a backup option uh, which he might not be willing to take. Uh, another news that we are hearing is that uh, from Michael Edwards himself that then Michael Edwards said that I have a good connection with, um, I have good connection with um, um, Virgil van Dijk's agent and this might make and smoothen us talking about our new contract. Another thing that is uh, everyone is talking about is that the press conference yesterday from Jürgen Club where he said we have been always in, on a prof professional basis. This is um, starting a new waves of you know speculations is this does this mean that Jürgen Club and Michael Edwards have been having their own you know backlashes behind the scenes and th that's why he's saying this and why that's why when Jürgen Klopp is leaving he's accepting to come and before Jürgen Klopp accepted uh, announced that he was leaving he was refusing to no matter which the matter is you know uh, Liverpool have moving forward and have already agreed um, contact uh, contract with them um, uh, Richard Hughes from Bournemouth where also some journalists are still giving backlash to it Another news that's coming out of Liverpool is that Liverpool may not be willing to give long-term contract to Mohamed Salah and if a long, uh, a, uh, let's say, of a, you know, an unrejectable offer comes from Saudi Arabia or whatever that, uh, whichever team that is interested in it, they might be ready to bounce on it. Another thing that we are hearing more and more and more is that uh, the new Liverpool might be looking towards to using less less wingers and that's why Liverpool are willing to sell Salah and Diaz and that might be meaning Liverpool have already have their manager in place and this is how he wants the team to move forward and that's why Liverpool are willing to sell these players. Nothing is confirmed, nothing is known, everything is a speculation and all speculations. Another thing that I don't know if I mentioned uh, in the previous uh, video that I was talking about Liverpool news is that uh, Liverpool are not going to offer any contract to Diego Alcantara as things stand and he will be moving for free and he's free to talk to any team but out of his respect for Liverpool he will not be communicating with any team as un until the season ends. Um, as we all know I don't think Liverpool also will offer any contract uh, to Joe Matip uh, who is also out of contract and has already started doing his rehabilitation on his injury. Uh, on, a, on a positive news that is that after international break, we will be having the, uh, uh, Alexander-Arnold and the rest, and Liverpool will finally be having full squad ready for 
um, after the international break. Uh, this season has been has seen us our ups and downs, and for sure, like Liverpool, have struggled a lot. And this season, we have shown our character as a team and unit unity as a team. Some players that were not expected to see and to play this season have played and shown why they should be there, including um, John Gomez and you know Kelha, who have really played last um, last year. Uh, another good news is that Mo Salah is freely fit and and firing to play full 90 minutes. I don't think Jurgen Klopp will play him uh, against this, uh, the Europa League game against Sparta. But hopefully Manchester United, he will be firing to play 90 minutes, as Jürgen Klopp said. Uh, with that, I'm going to leave you there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on notification to be notified. It's your boy and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.